Hi guys, so we'll be starting a new topic dito sa ating YouTube channel which is about stoichiometry of fuel combustion. Well, on this video, I'm just going to give you an overview kung ano ba yung mga pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating bagong playlist. Well, this is actually a really important topic na pag-aaralan for chemical engineering no? because fuel combustion constitutes an important step in almost any chemical process industry where heat generation is desired. Eh, yun ang dahilan kung bakit combustion is most important, especially in the field of chemical engineering, which encompasses the chemical process industry, where it's going to be difficult to cover everything about stoichiometry of fuel combustion, but we are going to try to present as many topics as we can and try to solve as many problems as we can. Although it might be quite slow dahil meron pa tayong ibang mga topics na pinopost dito sa ating channel. But anyway, let us start and see kung ano ba yung mga topic na pag-aaralan natin dito sa stoichiometry of fuel combustion. Well, first, this topic is still under the chemical engineering principles and calculations. But this time, we will be doing some material balance involving chemical reactions. So, una sa mga pag-aaralan natin is yung introduction about combustion. So, bago tayo mag-proceed to other relevant topics, alamin muna natin kung ano ba yung combustion. In here, we will be discussing about complete combustion, theoretical oxygen, theoretical air for combustion, percent excess air, and of course, kung meron tayong complete combustion, meron din naman tayong incomplete combustion. So, yan ang unang pag-aaralan natin under this topic. And then, we will go on discussing about gaseous fuels. So, ano-ano ba yung mga pag-aaralan natin dito sa gaseous fuels? First, we will be studying the classification of gaseous fuels. Then, we will talk about volume measurement, calorific values of gaseous fuels, calculations based on fuel analysis, calorific value losses, and calculations based on flue gas analysis. So, after the gaseous fuels, we will go on the liquid fuels where we will be talking about first the classification of liquid fuels, combustion analysis, calculation based on fuel analysis, and calculations based on flue gas analysis. Okay, so this is for liquid fuels. Then, of course, we will talk about solid fuels. In here, we will be studying the classifications of solid fuels. Analysis of solid fuels, empirical equations on coal analysis and calorific values, combustion calculation, coal combustion with no combustible loss in the refuse, and coal combustion with combustible loss in the refuse. And then we will talk about sulfur and its compounds, where we will be studying sulfur compounds, burning of raw sulfur, roasting of iron pyrites, uh, production of H2SO4 and oleum, and the bisulfite liquor production. So, medyo mahaba yung coverage nitong ating bagong topic na pag-aaralan. And as I said, maaaring maging mabagal ang takbo nito because there are still other topics na kailangan din nating itakel sa ating YouTube channel. No? But we will be doing this slowly hanggang sa makover natin itong mga topics na to. So, I hope you will be following this segment dito sa ating YouTube channel. And I hope you will keep on following our YouTube channel, engineers.org. Kung hindi ka pa nakaka-subscribe, please subscribe and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na i-upload namin. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Music